Never oh, hit. hey, what's going on, guys? I'm laying pipe. I mean, I'm uh, showing you this truck for sale. What's going on? It's a uh, helicopter. My look, I'm a helicopter. I'm Blippi the helicopter. Put it in your butt! Put it in your butt! <laughs> guys, what's up? It's Mark. How's everybody doing? If this were a real life scenario, you'd have to be laying pipe too. With that said, how would you lay pipe and carry your pipe without a work truck to carry your pipe with? It's a good question. The answer to that question is this work truck right behind me here, guys. Guys, check this out. This is a 2005 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD Duramax. Duramax diesel, 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel, laying pipe like a plumber lays pipe. Um, we got a lot to go over, so I'm gonna tell you off the back because there's a whole bunch of crap with this truck to text. I'm using Noah's phone, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna rattle it off, ready? So, here's the new things it's got, ready? Check it out. SMB intake, SMB turbo mouthpiece, new blue, blue Pioneer Bluetooth radio, uh, doubled in, navigation, XM radio, rough country pod fog lights, we'll go over that in just a second. Recess, reverse recess lights, installed with resistors, it's got brand new brake lines. It's got brand new brakes, brand new seats, brand new headliner, brand new headlights, brand new marker lights, LED lights, daytime running lights, tinted windows, and a brow piece. All from, I quote, the previous owner said that. So if whoever's buying it says, oh, it's not brand new. No, it's not because it's on the truck. It's used. So with that said, it's not brand new anymore, but it is still newer than what was on there before. So on with the truck. Let's go check out the front of the thing. Beautiful. I know how a lot of these, you guys always look at them, they get really, really faded and the front upper balance piece of the bumper is just, they get dry rotted. This looks actually brand new. The guy kept it in phenomenally good shape. Really nice guy, by the way. Super, super cool guy. OCD, just the way I like to find them. Um, the headlights look great. It's got the, here's the Rough Country uh, fog lights. Are these Rough Country or are they not? I don't know. They probably are. I don't know, they're just dirty. But two cube fog lights on each side. Um, the hood's got a, maybe a few rock chips here. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is a hell of a work truck. Super clean, super, super clean work truck. I wouldn't even classify it as a work truck. Um, pass inspection with flying colors. Um, it's got the window kit on it. So these are a aftermarket electronic window kit and I'll show you how it works. Check it out. Ready? Wrong key. Get the wiggle it, buddy. Oh, huh? The typical Chevy wiggle. Oh, there we go. No one no, no one knows it down pat. So watch. Check it out. Ready? Look at the mileage. We're gonna move quicker the video so we can roll to the next truck we got here. Um, change fuel filter. Was that already done? Should have been done. It was done. All right, cool. There's the mileage. They just forgot to reset it. 177, 141. Here's the here's the CD player right here. Ice cold AC, hot heat, um, Pioneer. Um, this is your pilot electric trailer bike control right there. You got manual four wheel drive right here. Works great. Uh, all your iPod hookups and USBs and stuff like that. You get your uh, toggle switch right there. I think that's your control your fog lights. And here's the windows, ready? They work great. Tinted windows, 20% window tint. And the factory crank ones are still in the glove box. Um, this is an extended cab Chevy. The work truck model in the floor so you can hear me. Work truck mall and the floor is the rubberized floor. And my preference, if you're using a work truck, it's probably the best you can get because you clean it up, hose it down, it looks brand new again. Um, underside, biggest part of this truck that I looked at that I love is we'll go around where the sunlight's shining best that I can show you. Actually, you can still see right here because of the shade. Perfect. Um, cab corners and rocker panels. Does it have any rust? Nope! No rust here. That's awesome. Um, the frame looks phenomenal. And we'll show you the frame. I'm going to take the phone from Chapel. No! Ah! He's going to get a stalker again. Here we go. Here Come we on, go. Chapel. Uh -oh. Well, that's me and that's me. Um, there it is right there. Surface rust, yeah, but underbody, minimal. Not below, uh, way above the average, I should say. Way above the average. Um, truck is in great, great, great shape. For your viewing so, pleasure, we sped oh, this video. next we'll part of the segment up a little over. bit so we um, go right fast past it. Um, you got pedophile? Uh, you got a canal of 5D. Canal for feedback. Oh, this is a pedophile. You got a pedophile in your box. 
Basically, we have a bunch of utility boxes back here that are in a pretty good working mechanical order. They lock perfectly fine, and they have uh, plenty of room inside. So if you guys are doing whatever kind of mechanical work or contractor work, this is probably perfect for it. The reverse lights below the red brake lights work when you put it in reverse as well as the cube lights work below the standard factory reverse lights. So it's pretty bright back there with those LED cube lights. So, uh, just to say, like I said, the truck's in really, really good shape overall. It's got a few paint flaws here and there. You can see on that side. I was going to plan on touching it up, but I'm not going to because it's a work truck. Um, the side of it right here, it's famous, what they're famous for is the door jams. Clean as hell. Super clean. The floor's in great shape. Here's the extra door here. Look, or the extra uh, spin-off window. Majiggies. There it is right there. Here's uh, what's this. Looks like an old inspection. Trailer body. Oh, that's for the trailer body. Okay. I guess there's two inspections on. I don't know. But anyways, it's all in the glove box. Um, truck runs and drives great, and we'll do a video right now of it driving. So I'm gonna have Noah cut the video off. The tire percentage treads are probably, I don't know, 10% maybe. Um, but also too, if you guys buy through me, I get 10 to 15% off cost. It goes straight to you, that savings. So if you need tires, call, text me, hit me up, and uh, I'll get you to pass, pass along the deal. So hope you guys are doing great. This is Mark signing out with 2005 Silverado 2500 Duramax work truck utility body um, with a pedophile bed. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. I'm driving. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you're still here, it's probably a reason why you're still here. So it's either for the entertainment or, or the me. trucks or Noah. Um, I gotta go head out now to lay some pipe. So I'm gonna try to talk to you guys through this. Can you guys hear me right now? What's going on? <laughs> All right, subscribe to the channel. Um, and uh, yeah, see you later. Peace out. Oh, and one last thing. I mean, good. You still filming? Yeah. Awesome. One last thing. <laughs> if you want to check out the website, it's www.superiorwholesale.org. It's superiorwholesale.org with the www in the front. Um, and a dot. Yeah, and a dot, too. Don't forget the dot. Um, that's it. So, this does it. not have new tag bolts on it, by the way. Yeah, it does not have new tag bolts, but we'll put brand new tag bolts yeah, on we it will. for you. Yeah, we will. Absolutely. And um, there's the VIN number. VIN number. Forgot to mention that. VIN number. Did you see the interior, by the way? I don't know. I don't think they did. Look at this. Actually, yeah, that's the driver's seat. That's the driver's seat right there. Look at how brand new it is. It's all brand new. Brand new, brand new. That's the driver's seat? It is. Brand new. Third seat. Wowzers. 
He kept up. Steering wheel's in good shape. Oh, did you let them know that there's a radio for this? Maybe like a, a, a this? Remote. A remote, yeah. Let's do it. Huh. All right, peek out. Peace out, guys. See ya. Holler at you.